I would like to invite you to listen to this great testimony. And I believe that the Almighty God will speak to you through this testimony and encourage you to have faith in Him and to really experience His goodness and His grace. Listen to the testimony carefully. Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Jo, and I have been in this church, I believe, 31 or 32 years. And I'd like to share a scripture, first of all. This is Psalm 103. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's in me, bless his holy name. And forget not all his benefits. He forgives all our sins, and he heals all our diseases. So I thank God for that scripture. But I want to share two short testimonies about healing that I received from the Lord. So the first one happened maybe five or six years ago. I'm a big walker and I was walking and all of a sudden I heard a big crack and a pop in my knee and I had immediate pain, just excruciating where I could hardly walk. And uh, a day or two later, I went to the doctors and they said I had a torn meniscus. They wanted to put me on anti-inflammatories and uh, send me to physical therapy, give me exercise to do, which I did all that. But I continued to have pain a month or two later. So I, I went back and I said, you know, I really, is there anything else you can do? And so they scheduled me for surgery. And a couple days before the surgery, I was at a church picnic and two ladies, um, I asked them to pray for me. I knew God used them to pray for people. And they just came up and laid hands on my knee. And the next day I was totally 100% healed. The pain never came back. That is the first time I'd had an instantaneous healing like that. So I canceled the surgery and I've been, you know, totally from then on, I've been totally without pain. And that was a big deal for me because I'm a big walker, two to three miles a day. So that would have really um, hindered me. So that's number one testimony. Um, the second one actually happened a long time ago when I was 24 years old. And what's interesting is at that time, I believed in the Lord, but I was, I won't say that I was fully surrendered or walking with the Lord at that time. But I was going to nursing school and I had to have a physical exam and a chest x-ray. Got the call from the doctor, um, you need to come in and you need to you know, bring someone with you, your parents or some guardian. We found a big mass in your lung. And uh, so they you know, brought me in and they said it could be lymphoma which is like a cancer of the lymph system, which is quite serious. Or it could be another disease called sarcoidosis, which is very rare. But we want to do a lymph node biopsy. So they took a, a biopsy and it was not a cancer, praise the Lord. And I had a praying mother too, by the way, that was praying for me. And of course, I was crying out to God too at that time, even though like I said, I wasn't 100% fully surrendered to the Lord, but God is gracious to hear our prayers. But after the biopsy showed that it was this disease called sarcoidosis. And actually that can, that can be fatal. The doctor even told me when he was in medical school that he had uh, one of the medical students actually died from that. But what it is, it's like lymph tissue can grow, 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 and it can impede off like your heart or your lungs or your vital organs. Anyway, that's what I had. Um, I never had to be treated for it. The next chest x-ray I had, mass was gone, totally clear, and I've never had any issues with it. And again, that was probably 45 years ago. So I praise the Lord for his healing, for his mercy, for his goodness to me. And I just want to encourage you, I don't care what you have going on in your life. Our God is the God of the impossible. And he says he heals all our diseases. So stand on it. Stand on what God's word says, and you'll see the miracles. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to the whole testimony. I believe that the Holy Spirit speaks to you. If you are not a son or a daughter of God, or you are not born again yet, I would like to invite you to come to know God, to be a child of the living God. The Bible say in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. I would like to ask you to put your faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who paid the price of your sin, who took the bondages and curse and sickness and sin on his body to give you a new life, healing and prosperity. You repent of your sin and ask Jesus to come into your life. He's knocking at the door. 
you open the door of your life and receive Him. Why don't you pray with me? I'm going to lead you to pray one sentence at a time. Father in heaven, I repent of my sin. I want to become your child. I believe and declare that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. He was raised from the dead on the third day. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Sit on the throne of my life. I will follow you, serve you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. I pray and believe that God will take care of you, teach you, guide you, anoint you, protect you, provide for you, and lead you to the right path and open the right door for you and bring you divine connection. Please like and subscribe to our channel and may the Lord really guide you every day. God bless you.